We are starting out with some crazy looking nails today. What's up nail crew, it's Nicole, your fellow nail obsessed DIYer, and we are about to do five different nail shapes, one on each finger on these crazy looking extended builder gel nails. Uh, <laughs> I'm laughing looking at them because I call them my alien claws. They're just some crazy looking builder gel nails that I like did quick extensions on so that we can do five fun nail shapes. I'm gonna start first with a round shape on my thumb. I have only shaped around a couple times, so it was a little rough starting out. I figured that I could do it similar to what I do in almond and then just not make it tapered in so much, I could just keep it rounder, and that ended up really working well. If you're somebody who really likes to change your shape a lot, Builder Gel is gonna be a great option for you because you can extend your nails fairly quickly and then change up your shapes as much as you want. Now, spoiler alert, I'm gonna show you the nails I went with at the end. I got a little bit too freaked out, like having all my nails different shapes, and I ended up having to go to the same shape because I don't, like, I thought I was gonna be able to do a mani with them all different shapes, and then when I was looking at them, uh, there was just no way I was gonna be able to handle looking at five different shapes. Stick around to the end to see what shape I actually went with. Now, doing the round shape was surprisingly easier than I thought. I filed the sides in like I would for an almond shape. I kept rounding the file over top instead of like keeping it pointed up more to give that nice crisp like almond shape or the like coffin type shape you know if you want to keep it straight up and down or the, the square shape then on my pointer finger i decided to do a tapered coffin let me tell you the two hardest shapes for me are tapered coffin and square okay my pointer finger i did tapered coffin tapered coffin and then on my middle finger i did a tapered square those were by far the hardest for me to get straight. It wasn't as hard to get the, like, the side straight, but to have them look straight on my finger, that was really hard. You'll see when I'm done with my middle finger doing the tapered square, it tilts to the side a little bit, okay? That was one of the harder shapes. And I've seen people do a lot of shaping with full covers on. I've seen you know people doing their Gelex extensions and then they do shaping with their full covers. I've done that too, let me tell you, it is easier to shape with full covers on than builder gel. Having builder gel on your nails because you are completely starting from scratch, this really tests your shaping abilities. And I did this all by hand. I know that some people do like to do some shaping with their e-file, but I just cannot get it to look exactly how I want when I shape with an e-file. I don't even really go along the top and smooth anything out. I do that all with my hand file. If you are somebody who wants to, like I said, if you're somebody who wants to try all different shapes, Builder Gel is super fun to do it with. You just have to give yourself a lot of credit, a lot of grace, have some patience. So when you're doing the tapered coffin, like I did on my pointer finger, you really wanna make sure that your file is angled in towards the middle of your nail. And go back and forth. This is a trick that I've learned from shaping the past three and a half years. You never want to file too much on one side. You always want to switch back and forth, back and forth after a couple passes of the file. Because if you just stick on one side and try to get that right and then go to the other, you're going to realize that your nail looks super crooked. And I think I did this a little bit on my middle finger, trying to shape the tapered square. I went too much on one side and it was looking a little bit not square. Now, on my ring finger, I decided to try to shape a stiletto. I haven't done like true stilettos. I've done pointy almonds before. This was the easiest shape to do. I absolutely loved how the stilettos look and I'm gonna be extending my nails again and doing some stilettos. I don't know if I'll be able to handle them this long. They might be like baby stilettos because I already, <laughs> my kids complain that I hurt them with my nails now, like not on purpose. And they're, they're short, they're a lot, I actually trimmed, ended up trimming them down a lot more. Uh, like right after I made this video and <laughs> I poked them already. So I can't even imagine with stilettos how much I would actually poke people, <laughs> especially my kids and myself. I have scratched myself in unmentionable areas before. Okay, like spoiler alert, TMI. I probably am definitely gonna be a TMI person. <laughs> I, I am somebody who definitely is TMI. So I like try to scale it back when I'm doing all my videos here, but I can't always help it, okay? I accidentally scratch my lady bits, all right, one day, <laughs> trying to wipe, like it is a real thing, I with the long nails. I had them really long and I scraped myself and it really hurt. Don't do that, okay? Be careful, be careful in the bathroom. <laughs> Anyways, I'm sorry, I, I am a little goofy. 
I think I'm feeling a little bit delirious. The stiletto shape went great. I absolutely loved it. It was so easy to file both sides of your nail into a point because you're not trying to make the sides like perfectly straight up and down. You can keep shaping in and in and in. And it was just such an easy, it was such an easy shape to file. I absolutely love the stilettos. Then on my pinky nail, I went for an almond nail. So basically you shape it like you do a stiletto. And then instead of keeping it super pointy, at the tip you just kind of round it over so it's still tapered in but it's rounded and that's the almond and you can do I've noticed people do like a large range of almond nails you can do like pointer almonds you can do much more rounded almonds somebody might even say that my thumb looks more like an almond but to me it looks more round I I just don't like that super wide look on the nails. My hands are really long and I have really big hands. So looking at back at all these shapes, seeing them all together on all my nails, now I know why I always end up with almond or some kind of like pointy almond, something like that, maybe a little bit more stiletto. I've actually done stiletto once. I did it for a Lady Gaga concert last year. I'm looking at the tapered square and the tapered coffin on me they just don't look right on my nails I don't know what it is it makes my nails it just does not fit my hands doesn't fit my nail shape so once I feel like I had the shaping for most of these down pretty well I wiped them all off with ice purple alcohol on a lint-free wipe to kind of see where I was see how they were looking so then I knew like where I needed to touch up because they were really really covered in dust and then I took a buffing block and went back through and buffed them nice and smooth. That was just so that once I applied the gel base and gel top over, it wasn't like all lumpy and weird. I like to take the Panda Extra Fine Barrel Bit and go around my cuticles to really make sure everything is nice and thin along the back of my cuticle and then everything is sealed in. You can also use like the really thin um, cuticle bits. I just didn't happen to grab one. I typically just use those really thin cuticle bits for going underneath my nail when there's too much builder gel. I like to seal in my full cover tips when I apply those. So I noticed for builder gel, I don't really need them that much because I go through and I really try to make sure I'm building the apex correctly. The apex wasn't that great on these because they were so long. The apex ended up not being quite high enough for most of these nails. So I knew if I kept them, they were likely going to break. After I did what felt like a ton of shaping, I was finally ready to do a final look at all my nails, see what shape I liked, and which ones I felt looked like the most like me. I started looking at the round shape and it felt really nice, but like it just, did not feel like me. Then I went next to my tapered coffin and as much as I loved how it looks on other people, I just, it just doesn't feel like it looks like me. I don't know why. When my nails are short, I love when they're a tapered coffin or a tapered square, but when they're long, it just does not seem to fit my long, big hands. I kind of like the tapered square, but if you see there, I just could not get it to look even on both sides, no matter how nicely I filed. And I kind of missed a little bit of builder gel on the one side when you look at them from certain angles they look a lot more even then looking at the stiletto i absolutely love the stiletto of course i like the arm because that is always my go-to shape now if you're still struggling with your builder gel application before you can even get into shaping then check out this next video on how to do a builder gel overlay on your natural nails thanks for joining me today nail crew